Hail Adventurers, Pwn Star here with Pwn Star Gaming. Guys, today I have a special treat for you. This is probably one of the most requested videos on this channel. Um, Lord Al has been a long time subscriber and obviously viewer of this channel and it seems pretty regular that to register for the raffle which all you have to do is just comment below your suggestion for next week's video topic is always been fishing and that's what we're gonna do today we're gonna talk all about fishing and let me tell you as I decided to delve into fishing and do some research on it, I realized it's much more in depth than what I thought. And as you guys will find out by watching this video, it is very in depth and there is a lot, a lot to it. Uh, meaning that it is a game in itself in the Ultima Online Outland server. So sit back, grab yourself a beer and let's talk about it. So if you are a fisher in real life, then you know the bigger the fish, then the cooler you feel when you catch up that big bass or, or catfish or whatever it is. And there's fishing tournaments in real life that uh, judge by how much the fish weighs. Well, in Ultima Online Outlands, it's pretty similar, actually. At a lot, if not all, I didn't check all of them, there are different uh, places at the Dock Master where you can double click uh, and check what the world records are for the biggest fish caught. And that's some pretty good bragging rights, if I do say so myself. There's some really cool things that you can do with these fish as well, and there's more on that towards the end of the video. Obviously, you're going to need the fishing skill in order to catch big fish. And how do you get the fishing skill? Well, it's actually pretty simple. All you got to do is just have your character and a bunch of fishing poles. and You can fish anywhere from land. You can fish completely AFK, AFK unattended macroing uh, behind the Prevelia bank and that little tiny puddle. You can fish anywhere from land and you don't have to worry about a captcha and you can do that all the way up to 120 fishing. Thanks guys. All right, so now you are a 120 fisher and you want to get out on a boat and you want to become a rich fisherman or woman. Well, what can you catch out on your boat? Well, it's pretty simple. You can catch the same fish that you caught on land, but you can also catch different uh, delectable food, which would be crab or lobster, or even special fishing nets. Once again, more on that later on in this video. There is different fishing pole types and even uh, tailor-made fishing net types that's based on the type of material that you use, as you can see here. Just like everything else, the more rare the material, the better percentage for your effective fishing chance that you have. For this video, we actually used a Veilwood fishing pole and we used a Averhide fishing net. All right, let's talk about some of the different ways that you can fish to get fish and different types of really cool loot that comes about from fishing, actually. First off is something new for fishing, uh, newer actually, which is called a fishing frenzy. With a fishing frenzy, uh, you can see what those look like here, but basically all you have to do is just have a fishing pole equipped on your character and double click the, fi uh, the, the fishing frenzy. What a fishing frenzy will yield for you is different freshwater aquarium creatures. And uh, it's kind of cool. Uh, we'll talk more on the aquarium creatures later. But while I was doing a, a two fishing frenzies, I was able to catch six raw fish, three raw lobster, seven raw crab, and four large fish. 
Now fishing frenzies can be done from land and also something else that can be done from land is a fishing resource map. Now with fishing resource maps, they are, I mean, the exact same as treasure maps or any other resource map actually, which also means they do have a chance to yield up uh, some type of lantern, hair dye, beard dye, rune book dye, any of those. So you could do a, a fishing map and somehow pull up Verit beard dye. That's right. <laughs> but either way, it's really cool. And it seems like that it is based on uh, the, the difficulty of the map is, is going to yield more chances of cast. So I did a legendary map and it gave me 60 casts. On those 60 casts, I was able to pull up 14 raw crabs, 12 raw lobsters, 14 large fish, 17 regular fish, and a crawfish. I was really hoping for a shadow iron lantern or shadow iron beard dye, but I wasn't that lucky. But I'm sure after doing quite a few of those uh, resource maps, I might have been. I know me personally on live, uh, not the test server, I have plenty, and I mean plenty of fishing maps that I haven't touched that I'm about to jump into in hopes of getting something cool like a Averhide beard dye or something weird, Averhide rune book dye. I don't know, something cool like that. Now let's talk about being on a boat. A boat is going to bring up a captcha. Now the difference is though, is not only can you catch the regular fish, but you can also catch large fish, uh, crabs, lobster, which if you have a cooker, you can turn into delectable food and either eat yourself or sell it for a okay price. And also special fishing nets. Now that brings me to my next thing. You're on a boat and you've seen all these different uh, special fishing spots. They have some really cool graphics, as you can see here. Um, tons and uh, I guess quite a few different ones. And all you have to do is very similar to when you're on a boat, just use the spyglass on yourself. And rather than clicking ships, you're going to click fishing spots. Now, if there's anything around you, it will take you to that. Once you go there, all you have to do is just use crafted leather nets. Now, like I had said in this video, we used Averhide leather or, uh, fishing nets, and you can actually do these fishing spots with zero fishing. Now, I did three without any fishing at all, zero fishing, and I was able to pull up 250 gold, 227 doubloons, a magic plate mail skirt, 31 raw fish, four large fish, two crabs, and two lobsters. I did one with 120 fishing and I pulled up 610 gold pieces, 617 doubloons, two large fish, three raw fish, two crabs, one lobster, a needle fish, and one magic ring mail plate mail ring mail gorget. When I did have the 120 fishing, I did actually pull up a creature, which obviously added to the loot table. Speaking of creatures, creatures can spawn or drop message in a bottles, which turn into SOS messages. All you gotta do is just double click on the uh, message in a bottle and it will bring up a piece of paper and it will give you some coordinates go to those coordinates once again kind of like a treasure map and you just fish right once you get there pretty simple you just use your crafted fishing net and fish in the desired location as long as you're within a, within a certain amount of tiles from the set sos spot you're gonna pull up some really cool stuff anything from regular fish to unique fish for your aquarium that we're gonna talk about all the way up to some really cool deco for your house. Um, there is a lot of cool things as you can see here. As this is up, one SOS yielded me 300 gold, 300 dubs, four raw fish, six lobster, three crabs, and two large fish. 
Uh, I also got some unique fish that was a butterfly fish, a royal basslet, thornback ray, and coral tang, which, as we've already said, I can place into my aquarium that we'll talk about shortly. I also was able to somehow spawn a group of monsters, which gave me a salvage crate. Inside the salvage crate was one and a half thousand gold, magic leather arms, two leather caps, one magic quarter staff, 150 arrows, and two pirate booty. Now, while you're out fishing and you have a chance to capture special fishing nets, those special fishing nets, uh, you have a 75% chance to get a special creature spawn, which could give you um, your, your, what is it, message in a bottles, which in turn becomes your SOSs. Uh, those creatures also will obviously spawn some magic items, dubs, gold, anything that you would get from killing a creature out at sea. Um, or 25% chance for a special fish. Now, I threw out five special fishing nets. In those five special fishing nets, I got two raw crabs, 381 doubloons, 390 gold coins, a magic heavy crossbow, a raw large fish, and one message in a box. All right, and not that it really pertains to too much here, but while I was out testing all these different things, the total haul of different stuff that I got was a coral tang, a crawfish, a needlefish, a butterfly fish, a royal basslet, a shad, a thornback, a salvaged crate, 30 raw crab, 24 raw lobster, 61 raw fish, 27 raw large fish, 2 pirate booty, 3k, 1.5k dubs, and a plethora of magic items and some arrows. Um, that's just neither here nor there. But something that was really cool is the first things that I mentioned on that total haul. And those are the different unique fish. What you can do is you can, with the purchase of doubloons, uh, you can put an aquarium in your house. Now in this aquarium, you can put those unique fish in there and have an aquarium that if you or a guest double clicks on, they can see. Also, you can move the fish around to place them however it is that you would like them to look or be when a guest double clicks on the aquarium, which I thought was kind of cool, um, especially if you are a hardcore house decorator or role player or something of the sorts. And also, let's say that you don't want a unique fish. You can use scissors and it will on, on the unique fish and it will turn into raw large fish, crabs, or lobster. Also, here's the big thing, the catch of the week. Now, first off, let me say you can craft bait with the cooking skill and some plant chemicals and other random raw materials um, to create a different bait. The catch of the week is kind of a contest over the week or it is a contest actually. And it's going to pick three different fish from different categories. And the top 10 participants are going to get rewards. Now, you can, as everything else, turn in these points that you get as rewards for anything from gold links to random house decoration, as you can see here really cool house decoration um and i mean it's a really cool aspect of the game that i personally didn't know was in the game i knew that there was fishing but i didn't know it was this in depth either way guys i hope that you find this to be i don't know something informational that you can Feel the urge to jump into the seas and catch up some real big fish and who knows maybe I'll see your name on the leaderboards either way it's time for our raffle so good luck to everybody who commented last week on a video topic suggestion for their chance for anywhere from 1 to 100k let's see who wins all right, here we are. We've got everyone listed. As you can see, I think this is the biggest list that uh, there has been so far. This keeps growing. Thanks to you guys. Uh, thank you for sharing the video, liking the video, commenting, 
below your suggestion for next week for your chance to win anywhere from one to 100,000 gold in game at Ultima Online Outlands. Let's see who's gonna win this week. Thomas Worth, congratulations, my man. Let's see how much money you're gonna win today. Don't forget, you will get on top of whatever is rolled here right now an extra 100k because of golden bear from the sin guild who's graciously donated an extra 100k on top of whatever is rolled so let's go ahead and see 70 plus 100k congratulations thomas worth you just won 170,000 gold uh, thanks to the 70,000 just for commenting below your content suggestion for next week on top of 100,000 gold from Golden Bear from the Sin Guild. As always, guys, thank you so much. Don't forget to like, comment your suggestion for next week, and also subscribe. Guys, thank you to the Patreons. You guys are the real supporters and the total OGs. Thank you very much. See you next week.